born cold as a riding and shooting fool. He's got some, lady, huh? I wish he was working for us. Yeah, but he never will be. Well, How come? Well, you know Farley ain't got no use for him. Come to think of it, that's right. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you now, we'll be right. Okay, boy. Boy, I wish I could handle a fire and iron like that. Right. You better breeze along before Farley finds you here, Colt. Farley doesn't worry me a bit. I know that. But he's had it in for you ever since you and your dad run him and Mr. Durkin off your spread. We'll run him off every time they try cheating us out of our land. Well, that was pretty good shooting. But how about a real race? Say to the line camping back. All right, Hank. I'll meet you here tomorrow. That's a date. <laughs> You'd better start that race pronto. How come? What's the idea in staging a private rodeo when there's work to be done? They're not to blame. I started this. Yeah? And I'll finish it. The roundup's over, Farley. We got time coming. You're liable to have plenty of time coming when I tell Mr. Durkin about this. And as for you, Farron, keep off this range. And that goes for that cattle rustling father of yours. Don't draw, Farley, unless you mean business. Talking mighty big, ain't you? You must think you really are the Arizona gunfighter. That Arizona gunfighter story was a joke and you know it. But if anybody wants to believe it, they can have it that way. Go on back to work. Baron, I don't think you're gonna be around here much longer. What makes you think so? Because Durkin's gonna clean all you nested out of this part of the territory. He's tried that before and we're still here. That's right. And he's still trying. Who did it, Jim? I was riding on the other side of the hill when I heard a shot and came running. Your dad was breathing his last when I got here. All he could say was, Durkin. Durkin. And he wasn't even carrying a gun. Help me get him inside, will you, Jim? What you aim to do? Just one thing, Jim. You can't do that. Durkin's the biggest man in the country. He's not big enough to get away with this. But even if you live to do it, the law'd be on his side. That's not gonna stop me. Jim, you take care of things. And if anything happens to me, this place is yours. How are you going to prove it was self-defense, Mr. Durkin? You say Farron wasn't armed. Did I ever have to prove anything? Now we're going after the rest of them. Tell the boys to get healed. All right.
Durkin. I'm giving you the chance you didn't give my dad. Fill your hands. Probably two for the arrows on a gunfighter, Farley. Who was it, Farley? There he goes! Better split and see if we can pick up his trail. Don't look as if he passed here. First thing you know, we'll be plumb lost. Call the others in. Did you pick up the trail? No. Just run into the marshal and his men. They want us to join up with them. What's he doing around here? He's on the trail of the Jack Pine Mountain Outlaws. They pulled a job at the Flying M Ranch last night, and he traced them to this neck of the woods. Jack Pine Mountain Outlaws? Yeah. Well, I'm hitting the home trail. You and me both. And yeah, me too. Turn back, Farley. You'll never take me. Let me blast him, Wolf. Hold on, sake. Take it easy, son. There ain't no Farley here. And ain't nobody gonna get you. I didn't murder like they did. Now let him draw first. Put him on his horse. You're not aiming to take him with us, are you, Wolf? Well, I sure ain't aiming to leave him in whatever jam he's in now. Well, it's a long way back to the cabin. If it was twice as far, I'd still take him. Looks to me like he's earned a break. Come on.
thoughts about time is awakening up. How you feeling, son? All right. You never been shot before, have you? I thought not. First time's always the worst. After that, you kind of get used to it. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to Grizzly. He's harmless. Here, you try some of this, it'll do you a lot of good. I never could see any sense in feeding a man before they string him up. You're right, son. Makes it too hard on the rope. I'm not sorry for what I did. He had a coming Nobody's place. asking you where you've been or what you've done. A man's past is his own affairs. And if he's got any regrets in it, you'd better keep them to himself. And if he ain't, nothing he could sell would be interested to others. You're free to go as soon as you're able. You're far from able. You better stay here and get well. Could your outfit use another man? You ever hear of the Jack Pine Mountain Gang? Who hasn't heard of Wolf Whitson and his band of outlaws? I'm Wolf Whitson. You better lay down and rest. Moving his big herd. I'll bet 90% of it was stolen from the little fellows. Tell the boys to get ready. Why rustle a few cows when there's a real job to be done? If you're thinking of that new bank at Divide, forget it. We quit that kind of business years ago. Russian stock don't pay off. I'm aiming to get into something that does. And I'm still running this gang, Snake. Tell the boys, like I said. Remember, son, you're free to go anytime you want to. All right, men, get mounted. That's Wolf Whitson. I've never known him to lie, not even about that. It's hard to believe a man like him is an outlaw. The big fellows are the only ones that think that. Now, if you ask me, which you didn't, as soon as you're able, I'd hit letter and ride out of here. Why? If you don't, you'll be aware the outlaw brand. I'm aware it already. Not deep, you ain't. You still got time to shuck it off just like a snake does his skin. But you'll never do it if you stay. I'm staying. I expected you would.
Where do you reckon Wolf is gone, Grizzly? I don't reckon, son, seeing this house none of my business. I wish he'd come back. Oh, you act like he'd been gone for a couple of years instead of only a week. A lot can happen in a week. Well, it can, but it usually doesn't. Howdy, Wolf. I'm sure glad you're back, Wolf. Tell all the boys I want to see them in my cabin. Bank of Divide was robbed last night by three men. Snake, you left in Monte with those three. What if we were? A fellow's got to make a living. There's sure ain't no profit in turning back most of the cattle you rustled just because they belong to somebody you're sorry for. That's my business. I told you before that our days of robbing banks was over. That you seem fit to think otherwise proves to me that it's time to call a halt. Yeah. Boys, our day is done. I've had a hunch that way for a long time. Since last night, I'm plumb certain of it. I'm breaking up this gang right here and now, never to ride again. You can't expect men to go back to 30 a month when they can bag that much on one quick job. I can and do. And I want the solemn promise of every man here that he leave this country. The Jack Pine Mountain gang is dead. That's all right for you, you're well fixed, but how about us? Everything will be divided equal. There's not one of us who'll need to starve. Well, you stick with you, Wolf. What do you say, Snake? I reckon there's only one thing I can say. Where you can find it if you want. You can find me if you want. He was aiming to kill you. But he didn't, thanks to you. Now forget him. Let him go after that? <laughs> I'd rather have it that way. He won't trouble us anymore. They've ridden the trail and they like it. Nothing will ever change him. A noose can or a lawman's bullet or even a man's own conscience. You seem content to ride with me and toss your part to the jaybirds. I'm not and you know it. You're just talking to hear yourself. We'll dance, as long as the music plays. You and me together, Chief. Hogwash. The longer a man dances, the more he owes the fiddler. The big fellas robbed me years ago, and I started out to collect. I found out I was hurting the little fellas, too. So I turned to helping them. That was what I wanted and what I got. My dance is over. Well, what is it you want that you can't have? I don't know. Sure you do. Something way back in your mind. You try to keep it there, but it won't stay. Now, what is it? Maybe a little spread. A few cows and... A chance to live honestly. Little enough, but it's plumb barred. I'm glad you told me. What you want may be small, but it's priceless. Once I had it, but I gave it up to right or wrong, knowing that I'd have to pay. Should have paid then. Now the bills are heap higher. You mean I should start paying? You? You don't owe nothing. Why, many a respectable cowman has done worse than you have. You've got no debt. But I have, Wolf. I have. You'd never let me tell you. And I won't now. Forget the past, son. You can, not being as old as me. Pack your war bag, son. We're traveling tonight. Where to? Out to another part of the state, where the Jack Pine Mountain Gang is only a bad name to frighten kids with. Ah, 
about it, strangers. on your mind, son. I was just thinking, Wolf, how great it's been, riding out in the open like we did today, and meeting men without reaching for a gun. Nice place, eh? Kind of spread I've always dreamed about. Kind of place I had once, and gave up. Let's see who's around. Belongs to a friend of mine. Your friend is sure lucky. He's been through plenty, son, and he'll go through plenty more. He's still lucky. You go take care of the horses. I'll try and rustle up some grub. The owner has been away. He'll be home tomorrow for keeps. Has he any stock? Oh, plenty. Next ranch has been keeping it for him while he's been away. Lorimer place. Nice folks there. Got a girl, too, that uh, you might be interested in. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what are you trying to do, marry me off? <laughs> no. <laughs> These Lorimers, do they know your Wolf Whitson? No. I'm known as Pop Whitaker hereabouts. Well, I think I'll turn in. That's a good idea. There's a big day ahead of both of us. No, Wolf. Kid, this ranch is yours. Your stock is at Lorimer's, like I said. There's something I want, and I'm going after it. Forget the past, and with it, your friend Wolf. Pop Whitaker.
Wolf! Wolf! Cowboy. Looking for somebody? I wanted to see Mr. Lorimer. Well, he's not here, but I'm Beth Lorimer, his niece. I'm Colt Farron, your new neighbor. Oh, I should have known that. Come in, won't you? Thanks. This is Mr. Farron, our new neighbor. I'm glad to know you, young man. How do you do? Pop Whitaker told us he was buying the ranch for you. Uh, can't you stay and have some lunch with us? I'd be glad to. Well, I must get back to my cooking. Oh, can't I help, Auntie? Oh, no, I can get along without you. You two stay out here and talk, and I'll call you when lunch is ready. Do you know Pop Whitaker well? Oh, awfully well. We never know when he'll drop in for a visit. He's done such a lot to help us. Always brings Auntie and me such nice things. Well, we think he's just about the grandest man in the whole world. He sure is. Have you seen his ranches? I know, I can't say that I have. Oh, he owns outfits all through the West. Keeps him pretty busy looking after them. Well, that's Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan, this is Colt Farron, the man Pop Whitaker told us about. Well, son, I'm mighty glad to know you. Glad to know you, sir. Lunch is ready, folks. No, I reckon you'd like to see your stock. You know, Whitaker didn't buy you any pig and a poke. You got nothing but the best steel dust ponies and white-faced cattle. Beth and me'll ride out with you. I'd like to, but there's an important matter I have to take care of first. That's all right. Drop in whenever you've a mind to. All right, I will. Thanks a lot for everything you've done for me. Fine, upstanding young man. I reckon we'll be seeing a lot of him. What do you mean? I ought to ask you what you mean by all those looks and smiles you were giving him at the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, Uncle Dad. <laughs> Glad you dropped over, Farron. And I wish you the best of a fine range. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, seeing I'm not in your wanted list, I think I'll get along. Don't worry. If you was, you'd soon know it. Good luck. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. You've done enough for me already. Got good stuff in him. He'll make a go of that ranch.
Will you go to the dance with me Saturday night? Of course. I was afraid you weren't going to ask me. <laughs> The Jack Pine Mountain Gang is riding again. You're quiet tonight. Is there anything wrong? Nothing special. Just restless, I guess. You're not worried about the Jack Pine Gang, are you? Why should I be? They've never bothered this section. Have they? No, and they've never raided the small ranchers before. But they're doing it now. Wolf Whitson and his gang of killers. Why doesn't the law wipe them out? I can't believe it's Wolf. He broke up that gang months ago. How do you know that? Why, everybody knows it. Anyway, I don't reckon they'll bother us. But if they do, I'll... Cold. No matter what happens... Haven't you enough worries without including me? Oh, but I do worry about you. I can't help it. Why? All right, partner. You shoulder my troubles, and I'll shoulder yours. The Jack Pine Outlaws. It couldn't be. They wouldn't come here. Why wouldn't they? Because Wolf is... I told you he broke up the gang. Where are you going? To find out who they are. Colt! Come back! What's the matter, Beth? Those outlaws. They rode by and Colt's gone after them. Oh, Uncle Dan, he'll be... Oh, don't worry, honey. He'll be all right. I'm certainly glad to see you. I was a bit worried about you. Why, Sheriff? Well, I understand you went after some strange riders last night. And the Lorimers have been most crazy ever since. Did you recognize any of them? No, I didn't. They gave me the slip. Where? Down near Whitewater. They disappeared into the bottomland. Then I came home and went to bed. Looks like these rumors have got folks mighty stirred up, Sheriff. Do you have to round up a posse just because some strange riders go wheeling through the night? No, but we do when the coolie bank is robbed, the cashier killed, the Dillon stage stopped, and the driver and guard murdered. Colt, I tell you, this Jack Pine Mountain gang is riding again. Get mounted. We're trailing those murdering coyotes. The Jack Pine gang's going through Black Oak Canyon. Good. We'll corner them there. Hit leather, Colt.
Clatley is coming. Scatter, boys. Don't let him get away. They've scattered to the four winds. Not a chance of catching them now. We dropped one of them back there, Sheriff. But the rest of them got away. Come on, Colt. We'll take a look. He's dead, Sheriff. Nothing more we can do here. Come on, let's go back. We don't believe it's him doing those things, do we, boy? But if it isn't him, where is he? Why doesn't he get in touch with me? I know he broke up the gang, but I... Who says he didn't break up the gang? Grizzly! Son, how are you? Where's Wolf? What do you know about all this? Here, read this. Cold, come to me as quick as you can. It's a matter of life and death. Wolf. 8236, state prison. State prison? Yeah. Wolf in jail? That's right. Boy, that's good news. Good news? Why, you young whippersnapper, what do you mean? Well, don't you see, if Wolf's in jail, it's impossible for him to be doing all this raiding. Oh. But if it isn't him, who is it? Well, we don't need more than one guess for that. I'm on my way right now. Right down to the hour, kid. You look fine. Are you happy? How can I be, Wolf? Seeing you cooped up in this rat cage? How'd they get you? They didn't. Remember I told you I had a debt to pay? Well, I went to the governor and came clean and let him jail me. Up to a while ago, it was all right, but well, now you gotta get me out of here as soon as you can. Get you out? How can I? I don't know. I don't care. But you've got to fix it and do it quick. Remember how the boys promised to disband? Yeah. Well, they didn't. Snake Brault's leading them on a killing spree that's making a liar out of me and a pardon from impossible. Snake Brault, eh? I'll go to the governor. You? No, no, no. That wouldn't do you a bit of good. It can't do any harm. All right, time's up. Don't worry, Wolf. If it's anything reasonable, I'll do what I can. 
How would you like to bag the Jack Pine Mountain Gang? What do you know about them? I know you want them. And I know there's only one man who can get them. What I'm here for is to ask your permission to let him go after them. He's got it. The power of the state will be behind him. I'll make him a special officer and give him all the men and guns he needs. Is that a promise? A solemn promise. Who is this man? Wolf Wetson. Wetson, a convict? What do you mean? Let their own boss out to leave them again? Not on your life. Wetson betrayed me. Wolf is the one who was betrayed. He made them promise to disband before he gave himself up. They don't even know he's in prison. If you'll only let him out, Governor, he'll clean them up and give his word to come back. I can't. If Wolf knows where they can be trapped, let him tell us. We'll send the law in to do the job. And kill a lot of men doing it. They won't give up without a battle. If you'll let Wolf handle this, he'll get their leader and throw a holler on the rest of the gang. He's figured it from every angle. He's not so bad, Governor. I know he's not. We had quite a talk when he laid his guns on my desk. It was wrong to take the law into his own hands, but he did a lot of good along with the bad. I might have been tempted to pardon him. But for two murders, he confessed to in the south part of the state. What were they? Supposed to have been done by somebody who called himself the Arizona gunfighter. His trail was lost, but Wolf confessed he did them. It was hard to believe, but a confession has got to be considered. He's not the Arizona gunfighter. Because he confessed to those killings only shows how far he'd go to help a friend. He's your friend, Governor, and he go just as far for you. Who did those killings, son? Do you know? Yes, I do. If you'll let Wolf out to do this job, the Arizona gunfighter will go along. And I promise you they'll both come back to take their medicine when it's over. If they're alive. Who did those killings? I did. Those men were killed because they murdered my father and we're ready to murder anybody else who stood in their way. You'll give yourself up if I release Wolf to do this job? Yes, I will. I'll take one more chance on human nature. Be at the sheriff's office in Divide a week from today. If Wolf will give his word, he'll be there too. If not, the sheriff will take you into custody. I'll send a ranger to represent me. Thank you, Governor. You did, Wolf. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get down to business. Keep your shirt on, Farron. It's in Wolf's hands. Grizzly, you old coyote. <laughs> Howdy, Wolf. So you got out, huh? Yeah, for now. Any luck? Plenty. They're all up there in the old hideout. Yeah, just as I figured. It'll take 50 men to smoke them out of there and a lot of killing. It's just like I said. I've got to go in alone. The posse can follow when they hear gunfire. Does that sound all right? No, it don't. You wouldn't stand a chance. I only want one chance at Snake, and I'll get it. Grizzly! Say, who is this fellow that slides in on a sunbeam and vanishes like a spook? The Jack Pine Outlaws have raided Lorimer's! Martha, what's happened? Is Beth all right? No, they took her away. Dan tried to stop him, and they shot him down. Colt! Where do you think you're going? To the hideout to get Snake brought. You are staying here. That's my job. You're all staying here till I get a posse. Oh, no, we won't. Can't you see that they'll hold Beth against us such a move? This is a job for the law, Wolf. It's my job, and I'm going alone. Fly, Wolf.
Because... Because she's my daughter. Your daughter? Yes. Now, do you see why I've got to go alone? I love her as much as you do, and nothing will keep me from going to help her. All right. Come on. should be a guard just around that bend. If Snake's as careful as you were, there will be. They might want me dead. If so, you'll come in handy. Let's separate. Who is it? Wolf Whitson. Come on up. Let's have a look. I'm coming. Time no see. Yeah. Has been a long time, Monty. Come on up the house. Snake will be glad to see you. That's yeah, fine. Grab Sky, Wolf. Snake has been expecting you. Drop that gun, Monty. That's one, kid. Come on. But ain't the chief in his shadow. Say, how'd you two get in past the guard? One man could never have kept me from you, Snake. I came in over his body, just like I'm going out over yours. Where's my daughter? Your daughter? Quit stalling, Snake. Where is she? I don't know what you two are talking about. Look, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. He just creased me. Watch Snake. He'll try to get away with Beth.
folks, just a little rear guard action. Watch your man! Tell me, Dad. I thought it better that you didn't know. Well, no matter what happens, I'll always be proud of you. And you too, Colt. I see you've kept your word. Thanks, Governor, for your trust in me. I'm ready to go back. We're both ready to go back. Governor, I wish you'd overlook the nonsense of this boy being the Arizona gunfighter. That was just a play between us to get me on the outside. I did them killings just like I told you. I killed them and you know it. You two are not only darn good fighters, you're good liars as well. I've made a thorough investigation of that case and I have it on good authority. That snake brought was the Arizona gunfighter. Well, if you ask me, there's more than two good lies in this room. Well, you may be satisfied, Governor, but I'm not. I've still got a couple of charges against Wolf Whitson and Grizzly Bar. Step outside. Dad. Don't worry, honey. 